Hi guys, let's look at question number seven. It is draw the graph obtained from the following table and use the graph to find values of a, b, and c and state a linear relationship between the two variables, which is x and y. So let's look at this. This is exactly like the previous question. So let's first plot the elements. So it's three and two, which means x three and y two. So this is my point three two. The next one is five three. So this is five and three. And then the next one is uh, negative one zero. So this is negative one and zero. So let's join these three points using a scale and straight line. And then let's extend this. So when I extend this, let's see what will it look like. So let's extend. I will extend on this side. And also on the other side, I'll put an arrow on both sides, indicating that this is a line, and I will mark. So I don't know what line this is. So let's look at this as what will be the value of x when y is negative one. So let's look at what will be the value of uh, x when y is negative one. So this is y as negative one. And from here, since I'm moving from y negative one, I draw a dotted line onto my graph. Since I started from y, I put an arrow reaching the uh, graph, and then from here, I put an arrow, uh, I put a dotted line reaching the x-axis. So this is negative three. I put an arrow here. So this is a is equal to negative three. So when y is equal to negative one, x is equal to Negative three. Let's look at the second one. What happens? So, what is b? Which is what's the value of y when x is negative five? So, this is x as a negative five, and let's see what is the value of uh, x. Now, what's the value of y when x is negative five? So, let's draw this and uh, let's join this with the. Y axis, I started from the X axis and I reached the Y axis. This is negative two. So this point is uh, negative two. So P is equal to negative two, which means when X is equal to negative five, Y is equal to negative two. Notice that on my graph, it did not Directly, exactly is going from negative two. But if you drawn them using a straight line, using a scale, the value of this point is negative two. And let's look at the value of c, which means the value of x when y is four. So this is y as four. I draw a dotted line from this to the graph, and let's see where it meets. So I put an arrow going from y-axis, and then I put an arrow down. Where it meets the uh, graph. So here I draw it down. So this is the point where it goes down. For me, this is the ideal answer is seven. Had I drawn this using a scale, it would have been seven. For me, it was around seven point two or seven point three. So if you draw it using a scale, you will get the correct answer. A C is equal to seven, which means when y is equal to four, C is equal to Seven. So this is uh, the first part of the question done. Let's look at finding the relationship between x and y. So we know standard value of an equation is y is equal to m x plus c. Let's substitute any of these two values. So let's look at three uh, two, which is already given, and five three. So let's substitute three and two first. So y is given equal to two, which is equal to m x. So uh, X is I have taken as three, so two is equal to three m plus c. That's my first equation. Please note that this c in the question and this c are different. This is the y-intercept, and this is just a variable which was used in the in the question. And then let's look at substitute the second one that we have. So this gives me let me substitute five and three. So y is equal to three, which is equal to five m plus c. That's my second equation. Let's subtract these two equations because the coefficient of c is equal. So this gets cancelled, and I'm left with two minus three. That's negative one. 
is equal to negative 2m which means m is equal to half i'm sure you would have noticed this is a positive slope so m is equal to half now put m is equal to half in let's say equation 1 and i get 2 is equal to 3 by 2 plus c which means c is equal to 2 minus 3 by 2 which means c is also equal to half which means uh, this point where it meets the x-axis is 0 0.5 so now uh, we know the standard equation y is equal to mx plus c let's substitute y is equal to m m is equal to half so x by 2 plus c which is again half let's uh, ideally i should be putting this in uh, uh, without any fraction so this would mean y is equal to x plus 1 upon 2 taking lcm which means 2y is equal to x plus 1 that's my relationship between x and y so that's the so this line that i've plotted here is for the equation 2y is equal to x plus 1 perfect let's move on and we'll solve the next question so let's look at the last question of this exercise use the graphical method to find the value of k if k negative 3 lies on this line 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 so let me write it in the standard form 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 1 which means y is equal to negative 2x plus 1 upon 3 so let's look at certain values of uh, uh, x which will help me figure out the values of y so if x is equal to let's say 2 y will be equal to negative 2 into 2 plus 1 upon 3 that's negative 4 plus 1 that's negative 3 upon 3 which means negative 1 so if x is equal to 2 the value of y is negative 1 now if x is equal to 5 y will be equal to negative 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 3 that's negative 10 plus 1 that's negative 9 upon 3 which means negative 3 so if x is equal to 5 y is equal to negative 3 and if x is equal to let's say negative 1 y will be equal to negative 2 into negative 1 minus 1 up not minus 1 plus 1 upon 3 so that's 2 plus 1 that's 3 upon 3 which means this will be equal to 1 so if x is equal to negative 1 y will be equal to 1 i hope some of you would have noticed that i've already found the answer they wanted to figure out what is the value of x when y is equal to negative 3 so we've already figured that out but please know that you are not supposed to solve it directly like this they want you to plot and find it from the graph so let's point plot these points negative 1 with 1 done next is 2 with negative 1 done and then the last one is 5 with negative 3 done. so let's join these three points using a scale and a straight line put an arrow on both sides done so i have plotted 3y uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 that's what i have plotted perfect so they want me to figure out the value of x when y is negative 3 so this is where y is negative 3 since i am starting from the y axis i put an arrow reaching the uh, graph and then i go on the x axis up again with dotted line and i go back up therefore k is equal to 5 done that's the answer let's look at the uh, part 2 of this question part 2 says uh, 5k minus 2 lies on the line x minus 2 1 x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 so let's write this in the standard form 2y will be equal to y will be equal to x plus 1 which means y will be equal to x plus 1 upon 2 so if x is equal to 1 y will be equal to 1 plus 1 upon 2 which is 2 upon 2 which is 1 so if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 if x is equal to 3 y will be equal to 3 plus 1 upon 2 that's 4 upon 2 which means 2 so if x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 and if x is equal to negative 1 
y will be equal to uh, negative 1 plus 1 upon 2 which is 0. So if x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0. So let's plot these three points negative 1 with 0, 1 with 1 and then the last one is 3 with 2. Perfect. So now let's join these three points together and let's see what do we get. Let's extend this on both sides. Yeah, extend it. Now as per this, they want to figure out what the value of y when x is 5. So this is where x is 5. So since I'm starting from x, I draw a line from x, which is at point 5 onto the graph. Uh, this is at point 3. Uh, and then I draw a dotted line from the graph onto the x axis. And I put an arrow in this direction. This reaches point 3, which means k minus 2 is equal to 3. This is the value of y and k minus 2 is equal to 3, which means k again is equal to 5. So that's about it. A uh, couple of questions for homework. Homework for you for this exercise would be question number 1, part 5 and 8. Question number 4, question number 8 and question number 9. I think I have already given these three questions as homework in the previous video. So question 8 and 9. Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe.